Jesus said, nothing shall by any means hurt you. You're going to tread on scorpions and serpents. And <coughs> nothing shall by any means hurt you. Let, let, let me get that scripture while I'm at it. You can't, let me tell you, let me tell you something. You can't stop Jesus. You can't stop the gospel of Jesus Christ from going forth. The man, you'll hurt yourself. As Paul was. Hallelujah. Uh, they, they tried to stop Jesus, but Jesus rolled with all powers, and he didn't do it in no secrets. Uh -huh. They tried to stop the apostles. Before Jesus came to the earth, they tried to stop the prophets. You ain't going to stop God, buddy. I don't care what you, you ain't going to stop God. You can't, you can't stop us. You can't close no door. On, I, I remember, and I, and I say this to the glory of God. About 20-something years ago, I went to, actually, the pastor paid for one semester for me to go to Mason Bible College. And I went there. And during that time, man, I, I was going through. I was out of work and everything. So I went there, and the dean, he made a statement. He told us and ministers, Minister, don't you talk against the church of God in Christ. He said, because if them bishops put thorn down on you, you will never preach nowhere else. It was over 20 some years ago. It was in the 90s. I told somebody this. That's a lie. Who, who you think? You think you, you can stop God, you fool. You can't stop God. Hallelujah. Uh, you, can't, you can't stop God. You cannot stop the gospel. You can't kick against a prick. Can't no preacher, um, can't no preacher shut down you. No preacher has that much authority over you to tell you, okay, don't you preach no more. The devil is a lie. All right, you're going to get in trouble now from who? Let me get this. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10, 19. Look at what it said. Look at what Jesus said. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. We walk it over your head, devil. The bishop, apostle, nomination. We got power. We got power. Jesus gave us power over you. Now, go to Revelation. Jesus said, in, 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 that's why, my God, that's why I have so much joy. Out of all that have been done to try to stop me. You actually thought that I cherish your friendship 
your church friendship, brotherhood, membership, clique. You actually thought I cherish y'all over Jesus Christ. Ninja, you crazy. I'll take Jesus for mine. You can have this whole wide world. Oh, I'll take Jesus for mine. <laughs> here what I want. Let me get some specs on here. You can't stop us. It, it ain't, I say, say, it's nothing you can do. You can't stop us. You preach it all in upset and uproar. I, I wish you would come to my face and talk to me. I wish you would call me in conference and talk to me so I could give you an answer like the Apostle Paul gave with Griffin. I wish you would come to my face. Go to Revelation. I wanted something in here. Oh. Uh, three, verse seven. Revelation chapter 3, verse 10. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? These things said he that is holy. He that is true. He that had to kill David. He that opened it. He that opened it. And no man shut it. And shut it. And no man opened it. I know your works. I see what you're doing. I see you pleasing me. I see you doing my will. Now hear what I'm going to do for you. Behold, I've set before thee an open door. Yeah, you might get shut up by your cellar, God. Jesus even said. Hallelujah, they gonna put you out of there, said God put you out of there, come. But look at here. I know thy word, behold, I self set before thee an open door. The Lord have told me that several times. About two years ago, on a Saturday night, the Holy Ghost overshadowed me, and the Lord told me, I am the door. I didn't understand what all that meant until I got to, to church and it was brought to me what had transpired. They made decisions to try to, those in authority, they made decisions to try to stop me, muzzle me, shut me up. And when I found that out, the Lord had told me that sad night, I said before thee an open door. Man, I went to pray to God and rejoice. Because Jesus said that's going to have my toe. If I was talking to somebody, God bless. I know who it was. I saw her at the barbecue place, her and her husband, prominent here in Memphis. She said, I'll follow you. She said, I was probably there through you out of the church. I said, they haven't done that yet. I said, they have made moves to try to stop me, stop my mouth. I said, but Jesus said that's going to happen. So I rejoice at that. Behold, I set before thee an open door. You can't close the door. Uh, 
and no man can shut it. No bishop, no apostle, no Zion and bishop, no number. They can. You can't shut it. There's nothing you can do. Well, thou have a little strength. Oh, we got a little strength. It had kept my word. My God. It had not denied my name. I'm not denying Jesus' name. The Son of God. A lot of y'all scared to say Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Jesus Christ, the only way of salvation. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Praise God, clear from sin with his blood. And not the law, not tithes and all, but not the high priest and Sabbath day and circumcision in the temple of Jerusalem, but Jesus Christ. I haven't denied it. I'm not going to deny it. Watch this. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, of the devil's church which say they are Jews, hypocrites. And they're talking about real Jews, spiritual Jews, not blood, more than blood. Now go to the fifth chapter of Romans and see what I'm talking about. And are not, but do lie. They lie. Behold, I will make them come in wishing before thy feet. Wish, not wish of them, but wish before thy feet. They're going to wish him God. They're going to wish him Jesus Christ. And to know that I've loved thee. Sha, ya, ya, ya. Know that, know that, hallelujah, hallelujah. You tried to destroy me, but because God loved me, I'm still going and still blessed and not cursed. Your plan didn't work. Your weapon didn't work. You know that have happened back in the Old Testament. They tried to kill the prophet, throw him in fire front in the lion den, all that kind of thing. You can't close the door. You can't do it. It's nothing you can do. God loved me. I kept it safe. Boy, a position your a purple shirt, a gold chain, a tippet, a position in your shirt don't mean nothing. What means some hallelujah is fellowship with Jesus Christ, keeping his word. Keeping Jesus' word. I ain't compromising. You try. Oh, you showed up, tried. Some, someone asked me if they invite you to come back and get into the fold, would you go back? Leave, leave, leave me like I am. Leave me like I am. If I if, if I go back, I'm gonna be worse. But 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 if I go back, it, it, it won't be no condition where you that go sit in the corner and, and, and don't say the the devil is a lie. Oh yeah. They tried to close the door. Hallelujah. There's some, they had questions, biblical questions. Nobody could answer. I raised my hand. They said, no, 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 no. Let somebody else answer. But they not answer. They take a poll. Who y'all want to hear speak? They say, yeah, Elder Douglas. No, let somebody else do it. We'll get you next time, Elder. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. Jesus is the door. Can't nobody shut it. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. I don't say this. Lift myself up in pride. I'm talking to your members. You want you want to shut me up? 
they still hear me, hear me more so. How did I get the report? How did, did you hear from the LFC? It's nothing you can do. Jesus is the door. Jesus opened the door, and nobody can shut it. Now, you can shut the door <coughs> in your denomination. That's not Jesus' church. You can shut the door in your local church. That's not Jesus' church. You can shut the door and shut me out of all auxiliary. That's not Jesus' church. But uh, in the kingdom, in Jesus' church, you can't shut the door. There's nothing you can do. Thank you. He is the door. He told me that on several occasions. He said, I'm the door. Man, that give me so much joy. So much peace. He even told me the fifth chapter of Re uh, Matthew to rejoice when this happened. Instead of crying and protesting. Ooh, they did this to me. Uh, no, rejoice. Yeah, I love it. It's nothing you can do. Thank you for viewing.